everyone, it's Miss Hannah from the Ballet Kenwood Library and I am back with another fun craft for us to try. So today, since we are nearing the end of March, you may have heard the saying that March comes in like a lion and out like a lamb. So since we're already nearing the end of March, I thought that we could do a lamb craft in hopes that March will go calmly out like a lamb and into April. So for today's craft, we're gonna make a cute little lamb. So you'll need a paper plate. You guys know paper plate crafts are my absolute favorite. So you need a paper plate, some black paper for the face of the lamb, some cotton balls. That's what we're gonna use to make its wool. We're gonna kind of stretch them, pull them all apart to make some fluffy lamb wool. You also need googly eyes for the lamb's eyes a marker maybe if you don't have googly eyes, and some glue. So let's see if we can make a lamb in hopes that March, even though it may have come in like a lion, will calmly go into April and out like a lamb. Okay, so to get started with our lamb, the first thing we're going to do is color, cover the center of the paper plate with black paper. Now, if you have black paint, feel free to paint it instead, but I, first of all, don't have any black paint, and also I didn't want to make a big mess today, so I am going to use black paper. So to do this, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to cover it up with the cotton balls, but I'm going to cut out a nice piece that will fit the middle. So I'm going to cut off the end here. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect cut because it is going to get covered up by the cotton balls. So let's see. Something like that. I'm going to take off, round off corners. should do it. I'm going to take this is a glue stick and I'm going to cover this whole piece in glue. that and glue it down to the center. Just like that and then again if anywhere is still sticking up you can add some more glue to it. Like that. So it doesn't have to be Perfect because all of this edge here is going to get covered up. So the next thing we're going to do is take the black paper and I'm going to try to use this scrap here that I just cut off and we're going to make a nose. We'll see how that goes. So I'm going to take this edge and I'm going to kind of round it into a a U sort of shape. So my recording cut out, but I made, like I said, a round, rounded kind of U shape for its nose that'll end up going like that. And then I did two smaller pieces for what will become the lamb's ears. So we're going to put those off to the side and we'll also pick out two googly eyes that we'll use later. I think I'm going to use this one and this one. So we'll put those over with the nose and the ears for later. Now we're going to take our glue and our cotton balls and we're going to go around the rim of the paper plate to make its wool. So you can either leave the cotton balls puffy like they are 
or I'm gonna stretch mine out oops hopefully not rip them like I just did kind of stretch it out so that we don't use quite as many and I'm gonna put the glue directly on the plate like that and just start gluing down the cotton ball so again stretch them out don't pull too hard like I did or it'll come apart but that's okay you can glue them down two different pieces stretch them out and make a nice wooly fur for our sheep so you can overlap them you can keep them next to each other it's up to you however you want the wool to look just make sure that you kind of cover the whole edge and then also make sure to cover these goofy not straight lines that I made I don't know maybe yours was a little more circular than mine but we'll cover those up too <laughs> So once you're done gluing down all of your cotton balls, all the stretched out cotton balls, it will probably look something like this. And you can go further into the face if you want. I know there are lots of lambs out there that are very fluffy. So you could go further up the face if you want with cotton. I think I'm just gonna stick to one ring around the outside for now. So next I am going to attach the eyes. I'm just gonna do a little dab of glue on each which sometimes with this glue is easier said than done so I'm gonna do it toward the top and put one right there and the other next to it that and then I'm going to attach its nose which mine is a little bit too thin but that's okay so I'm going to use the glue stick and I'm just going to glue it at the top up here so that the bottom kind of hangs off a little so if you've seen a lamb they've got that long long kind of nose where their mouth also is too I'm just going to do it as a nose, like that, and to finish up, I'm going to glue on their ears. So I'm going to do the ears about here and here. That should be okay actually. So put some glue on the back and glue it directly onto the cotton ball that and again only glue at the top or the part that's going to touch the cotton ball you don't want it to go off onto the table and like that so I am going to let my lamb dry and we'll check back on them in a couple minutes so now that it's all dry, here is my lamb. And I know his nose is kind of funky. I think I made it a little bit too long. It's got kind of a long, long snout there, but I'd love to see how your lamb turned out. Hopefully a little less silly looking than mine, but I'd love to see how yours turned out. And hopefully you had a good time and enjoyed making this craft. And we will all hope that March goes out quietly like a lamb and into April, which is when I will have another craft coming up about April showers because April showers bring May flowers. But for now, this is our lamb craft to hope that March will go out like a lamb. I hope you enjoyed and I would love to see pictures of what yours look like. And I hope that you'll tune in again next Friday for another video.